Hello and welcome to the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Did you ever get that deja vu feeling? Deja vu? Hmm, now that you mention it, it feels like we've been doing this again. You know, like talking about ponies and whatnot? That reminds me. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Did you ever get that deja vu feeling? Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, also, <laughs> today is Jacob. Oh, apparently I didn't go that under the radar then, I suppose. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, man. This works for both reviews, to be honest. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the second review you have to wait for next week. But in today's episode of the MBS show, we are going to review My Little Pony Quest Your Girl Sunset's Backstage Pass. In this special, Sunset Shimmer and Pinkie Pie are excited to see their favorite band perform at the Star Swirl Music Festival. Uh, by Equestrian, but Equestrian Magic caused Sunset to get stuck. Uh, relieving this the first day of the festival over and over. So before we head into the review, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think? Well, I mean, the obvious Groundhog Day analogy is uh, is pretty apparent. I gotta be honest, this one kind of flew under the radar for me. I wasn't as hyped for it. Mostly because, well, I'm not a. I've never been to some big music festival. Also, it's kind of funny that we're we're talking about this right after G Five's Bridal Woodstock. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but I mean, it's a fun one. It it fulfills Sunset. The focus on being on each of the Equestria girls, except Fluttershy, she got shortchanged. Mm-hmm. You're always frustrating. Gonna be, you're always going to be bitter about that, aren't you? Incredibly, my favorite, well, pony, but this is a human. Human. <laughs> but still. Uh, but still. On a side note, right? Uh, there were shorts about the festival, right? Well, do you remember what it's called? Because I'm trying to look for it on the wikis and whatnot, and I can't find it. Because I remember one scene involving Fluttershy that was very awesome. Oh, where she was dressed as a punk? Yes. Or a crusher? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. These were choose your own adventure style videos oh. with like three solutions. Oh, no wonder. Okay. Oh, well. The only one that I remember is the, the one that became a music video, Find the Magic. That's also part of the, of the special. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The dazzling. Well, we'll, we'll get into the dazzlings. I, I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> well, what can I say? It's it's fun, but at the same time, it didn't leave a big impact for me. Uh, to, okay, I'll I'll, I'll slow it down. Uh, Jacob, what about you? Well, uh, pretty much like with the previous uh, reviews that I did on the question, <laughs> girls, I came, went in blind, uh, not expecting much. It, it, it was entertaining enough for what it was. Although I do have some questions later on, but uh, that's it. All right. As for me, I remember enjoying this and whatnot and didn't really see stuff how like other people were looking at it because uh, when this came out, a lot of people were saying, Oh, the shipping, the shipping, oh, the shipping. Mm. And, I'm, and I'm here like, why shipping? I don't see any shipping. And growing a bit older, I see like, oh, this shipping. Oh, that shipping. Oh, I didn't knew Poindexter? What's his name? Was it? I forgot. Uh, oh, he, he has a boyfriend. I, I, I did not know that. Mm, okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, they've been building those two up for ages. And that's how I like, like it. That's how I like it. The subtle... I mean... Uh, sorry, go ahead. Oh no no! I, I'm sorry. It's it's the it's the short little guy with sort of the bowl cut hair and the taller guy with blue skin and dark blue hair. Yeah, them. Oh yeah, they've been in, they've been they've been the Lyra and ba- Bon Bon of this series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's the thing. Like, 
I think I've complained this a lot with other um, reviews that I did. I, I think I've talked to this with Jacob at some point, either personally or via review. But my thing is, I hate the idea of just shipping a couple because, hey, people, look, we have a uh, same-sex couple. Hey, aren't you proud of us? Give us applause. Yeah, give us praise for doing the in thing, you know? And yeah, this we one... said this. The... Yeah, we said this in uh, the world, what was it? Rollercoaster of Friendship, and there was one part we were off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for, for this one, ah, okay, that's subtle. Uh, if you blink, you miss it kind of deal. And since you mentioned it, Silver, that's good because they built, uh, they built it up uh, for a while now to make the quote-unquote payoff real fun and good. So yeah, th th that's something awesome. Uh, <clears throat> so what else? The, uh, the, 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 this is just a lot of fun. This is just a lot of fun. I, I, I like it. So those are my thoughts. Those are first impressions. If you guys have not watched this episode yet, pause your and go do so. Welcome back. So, shall we jump in? Please do. Alon Z. Alrighty then. So, first up is we travel to some barren wasteland in the forest. And it seems that the girls are traveling to a music festival. Well, if, it's uh, a forest, it's hard, <laughs> if it's a forest, it's hardly a barren wasteland now, is it? Yes, I was, I was thinking the same thing. I mean... It's ripe with pines and bugs, and can you tell that I really hate nature? camping? Oh, yes. Same. Oh, nature. nature. Oh, oh, keep it away. Keep it away. I know. The only nature I want to look is in 4K, 1080p. Sorry, not even 1080p. Uh, 200 something P on my computer screen. <laughs> Maybe VR. VR. VR will look good, right? <laughs> Seriously, what the hell's with the res resolutions on these uh, recordings on YouTube? Like, you don't get higher than 480. Uh, for I mean, some rate. Uh, the, the most standard definition or resolution is 1080p. Uh, that's the general consensus of uh, the general public. But if you have a 4K monitor, you want to push it uh, 1440, something like that. But not everybody has it, so content creators don't really push 1440 out there because it will be a waste because not much people are watching it. Why am I talking about this? Yes, girls going to Star Swirl Music Festival. And they're having, f uh, they're just hyped because uh, we see that Star Sunset Shimmer and Pinkie Pie are going to see their favorite band called Post Crush. Yeah! Awesomeness. Oh, I feel like that's Flash Century's uh, shtick these days. What? He's post-crush on Twilight. Oh, no. Now, now he's full crush on Sunset. Oh, no. <laughs> Was this a thing? What? Uh, for Flash? Flash and Sunset. I was asking because I am not aware of that. Oh, um, originally, uh, when... Uh, in Equestria Girls One, they were an item. Well, but, that I remember. Yeah, but but it was kind of a dynamic for Sunset because she just used him for clout. But later on, um, after Sunset changed or you, you know gradually changed for the better, uh, Flash kind of had a crush on her, and didn't really. Uh, she, she didn't really felt the same and Derpy was always there to comfort him which might be the real <laughs> ship I know but anywho um, yes girls arrive in trailer that's a trailer or a caravan which one uh, it's a van van that's a big van how are they how are they, how are they, uh, how are they old enough to drive it Oh, uh, actually, I think Granny Granny Smith drove at one point. Mm, I don't remember, but um, from what I remember, uh, if you already have a driver's license, you can already drive that vehicle, right, Silver? 
No, actually, I think you need a special license for a vehicle that size. Hmm. <coughs> really? Now I'm trying to remember. You, you know what? I'm not going to even question it because the next day, day one of the music festival, we see that sunset. It's excited, gets out, gets spanked by Rainbow Dash. Oh yeah! And that's and how that's we- a special kind of shipping. <laughs> it's not a Yaoi paddle, is it? No, Yuri paddle. <laughs> Uh, are you talking about uh, Weibo? Uh, when well, <laughs> that's more a wee boo boo on her butt. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So, I'm, I'm just going to go through this fast. Uh, we see that, yeah, uh, Rainbow Dash banks sunset with a paddle. We see uh, Applejack uh, hanging out with. Twilight and Fluttershy, she's telling a joke and gets sprayed with OJ from Fluttershy. Uh, Pinkie Pie comes in telling a joke. And the joke is, what do you call a postcard friend with three eyes? And that's Pinkie Pie. Ah, because, yeah. And it goes over her head. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the, uh, the day goes on where uh, sunset, is, sunset, sunset is not really having the best time of day. Uh, gets spank, uh, accidentally steps on mud, uh, has to wait in line for security, and once she's in, all she wants to do is get up front, um, and spend the rest of the her time there, trying to be the in front, while Pinkie Pie just wants to do stuff. So, going in, uh, go, going through as fast as uh, not as fast as possible. Just going through it, uh, we see that Pinkie Pie gets distracted by a tandem bicycle, and the game is uh, win this tandem bicycle if you can guess how many jelly beans are in this jar. She guessed three hundred and uh, five, and she gets it wrong. And uh, we see that they go into a hedge maze, a neon hedge maze, which is kind of cool. And Sunset kind of gets her out by putting a piece of candy on the floor. Uh, does anybody remember that Family Guy skit? Yeah. What was his name? Oh man, I forgot his name. <coughs> yeah, I forgot it as well, but I don't know which one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oop is candy. Oop is candy. <laughs> Oop is candy. <laughs> It even says here on the wiki. <laughs> so, anywho, um, uh, they get uh, splashed by paint and so on. And on the night uh, before the concert starts, Pinkie Pie gets distracted by a van of no, a, a car of churros. Uh, she rushes in and accidentally crashes into it, and getting them banned from the event. And Sunset kind of is pissed off and is angry at Pinky, and they went back to the, went back to camp, feeling well dejected and just not kind of her day. And Sunset just wants to be alone and wishes that she can do the whole day over again. And somehow there's some kind of question magic that happened that kind of envelops her in some kind of what you might call this energy and that's about it and the day happens again what so before i carry on i'm gonna pause here and ask silver what do you think Well, this this brings up unfortunate uh, memories of Philly Vanilli. Oh, that guy. Where? where P- Wait, uh, sorry. Where? Vanilli, Vanilli, you mean the episode? The episode, yeah. Millie Vanilli, the band, they were something di- that That was a whole different thing altogether. But Philly Vanilli. Pony Pinky was the source, or or at least the trigger, of most of the misfortune. And as a result, it was kind of hard to really celebrate her or to, to appreciate her. In this one, she's her spontaneity is really 
making things difficult for Sunset, and I feel like that can overplay the part. And getting them banned, especially, oh, what a... That's rough. I mean, that is really, really rough. So it's... I feel like it's not a great thing for Pinky. It's not a good day to be her. Even though Sunset's the one who has to bear the burden. Also true. So, and I think... So, I understand it's setting a low point for Sunset to set up the next part, but... It's coming at the expense of Pinky, and eh, I'm not a fan of when you have to drag one character through the mud to get a story going. By the way, Silver, uh, Finny Vanilli, what season was it on? Philly Vanilli? I think that was season four. Season four, because I'm trying to look for it, and... Yeah, it's season four. It's the... <clears throat> oh, this one. Okay, now I get it. All right. <sighs> yeah, Pinky Pie. No. Yeah. Mm. Yes, no. Thank you, no. Although I did find it kind of funny that in the background, the chef from the cruise they were on is now serving at the uh, at the music festival. So I guess she landed on her feet. <laughs> yep, yep. I mean... Oh, yeah, uh, I noticed that as well. I, I honestly thought for a second that we're going to have a repeat of the cruise ep- uh, special. And she, and she's, she was the one going to get... To, <laughs> sorry. That she was the one that was gonna get kick, uh, kicked out. Yeah. Guess I had my expectations subverted. <laughs> and Jacob, what about you? Yeah, pretty much what Silver said. The pinky thing was basically an issue that. Uh, well, it starts at. Uh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Basically, because of Pinky, it starts to go down for Sansa, and it's gonna become a big problem later down the line. Well, I guess, but the amount of, well, repeats that happen after that, uh, she gets pretty sick about it. Yeah, and honestly speaking, uh, Pinky Pie here, it, she she gets distracted easily. Uh, any you you flash anything shiny at her, she just goes and grabs it, and I, this I don't know if it's true or not, but it feels like oh she has ADHD. Like, yeah, need a little riddle in there. Yeah, I mean, in, in honesty, you can't really blame her because she's out and about going to a festival where people are celebrating. And having a lot of fun, and she just wants to be in it, in the fun. She just wants to be participating in almost everything. And <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I want to say you can't really blame her, but she just wants to have fun. She just wants to have fun. And Sunset here has a mission, has a goal, and that's kind of uh, clashing with her personality and whatnot. But anywho, uh, let's go back to day one, part two. So Sunset wakes up, same thing happens, and she just thinks, wait, what? Deja vu? Why am I? What? what? I, I don't get this. <clears throat> so she talks to Twilight about it. So that changes a bit. So things are happening the same but flowing in different ways uh, instead of Twilight heading off with uh, the rest of the girls she's hanging out with uh, Sunset and Pinkie Pie now and things seem to happen the same way uh, Twilight just talks about her experiences with what's happening with the girls and so on and uh, they, they all get kicked out and things repeat so I, I I'm not gonna repeat the whole thing. I'm just gonna go to new new things. So on the first day part three, uh, sunset ditches Pinkie Pie, does whatever she wants, has fun, and oh, uh, she kind of hurts Pinkie's feeling, but no problem. I get to enjoy my concert, and that's about it. Yay! Let's go on to day two. Nope, doesn't happen. 
doesn't happen. It repeats again. And she's been doing this for almost a month now. And wow, that's rough. Could you guys just imagine reliving the same day over and over again? I guess it depends on the day, but yeah, after a while, even the best day would get boring. Jacob? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, she got desperate enough to get behind the wheel of that vehicle where, where they're sleeping in to try and get out of town. Yeah. So yeah. to speak. <laughs> Trying. And for uh, for someone who doesn't really know how to drive, driving that caravan in the middle of the dark is kind of okay for her. So, yeah. I, I, I'm just thinking this, right? Like, Everything that happens, happens, and so on, yeah, yeah. And then she's relieving the day. But could you just imagine that each of this timeline that they re- she's reliving is a concurrent timeline that's happening? It's just that she gets to go back and redo it while the line is just living on its own, like a parallel universe or a parallel timeline? Well, in that case, there's a there's a variety of timelines out there that she has created. Yeah, I know. And then you have to call in the what you would call this. Oh uh, man, what was that Loki thing? Oh man, forgot it. I forgot the trimmers. Hmm. Nobody watched Disney Plus. No. No. N- nope. Sorry. Ah uh, no. Well, guys, like I said, this is mostly Groundhog Day. And funny enough, Pinky in the My Little Pony manga had to deal with the same problem. Oh funny how Pinky and time paradoxes are so interrelated. I know. There's also a fanfic about this event happening. But instead of Pinky is or Sunset, it's Prince Blue Blood. Oh, yeah. I, remember, I read that one. And uh, there was also one of Twilight where changelings invaded. And it just happens again. <laughs> the, the, the Blue Butt one was kind of a fun read, if I'm not mistaken. And the only consistent thing about the day is just Pinky doesn't really repeat the... Her, <laughs> Pinky doesn't uh, follow the same thing. She always changes. And that's, only the, and that's the only same thing about her. From what I remember. <laughs> the chaos is the constant. Yep. <laughs> the chaos is the constant. <clears throat> so anywho, Twilight, sorry, uh, Sunset here is reliving the day again and again and again and again. So like Jacob mentions, um, she she's trying to change it by driving the caravan to a, just out of there, just out of there. But somehow it broke saying the transmission was it i forget but i believe so otherwise she was gunning it way too hard yeah way too too hard suspension whatever but uh applejack says that the i'm guessing the transmission if i'm wrong i'm wrong uh is what you gonna call this uh spoil and she and they need to pay up front for the towing and whatnot. And Sunset just says, I'll give them a million dollars if they can come. If I can find it, yes. So, if they miss her. <laughs> yeah, but because of her time shenanigans, it doesn't really, she, it, there's no consequences behind it. And uh, as it happens, like uh, when this happens, uh, Twilight just asks, um, wait, you've been reliving this for how many? Uh, days now and so on and Pinky Pinky just says well why don't you ask Princess Twilight about this I mean she might give you an idea of what's happening and Sunset just says oh why did I why did I think that why did I think of that about a week ago and uh, from here we can already assume that wait what a week ago so you've been reliving this day for a week now oh Okay, and... Actually... Sorry? Actually, I think it's even longer. It's like 17 days. How so? Because, uh... 
I'm I'm looking at the quote here, the journal. Of course, how did I not try that weeks ago? Hmm, weeks, yes, weeks ago. So weeks. Yeah. So, uh, Pinky says, "Self, how do you spend seventeen days with my best friend Pinkie Pie without asking for help until now?" Uh, apparently, Pinkie Pie does not have the self awareness necessary. Ah, so wow, that that is that is something. So <laughs> this time around. Uh, they hang out, write a letter to Princess Twilight, wait for a bit, and they got a reply. And Twilight says that, ah, yes, I think you found another equestrian artifact uh, called the... Uh, what was it called again? Uh, time Twirler. Yeah, Time Twirler. And I, I just like what Twilight did here. Control C, Control V, <laughs> onto a page. I wish I had that skill in real life. Are you kidding? There are times I wish I could duplicate items with a little Control C, Control V. I know, especially money. <laughs> well, well, now that that would, I would not use that power to forge money. No, silly. no, that would be immoral. Oh, that is true. I would never. You, you should not. I would never do that. We wouldn't I'm, I'm winking. Silver, surely you wouldn't want to put the Federal Reserve out of business, would you? No. I'm winking very hard right now. Oh, no. You should not do that, Silver. What you should do is duplicate coins. There's no way to track that shit. So, yeah, I just come into... Uh, a bank with a giant sack of coins saying, can I ch exchange this? Uh, yeah. For cash? Like, how are they going to verify that it's fake, right? <laughs> and to, uh, uh, brings it to add for the tournament, let's make it that the, all of it is pennies. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, pennies. Pennies are just one cent, right? <laughs> well, honestly, it just brings new meaning to the term fiscal quarter. <laughs> God damn it, Silver, that was good. <laughs> no, you know what I would do? I would get like a really rare figure, one of those $1,000 oh. to $2,000 monstrosities. Oh. And then I'd copy paste a bunch of them. Oh. Wait, and then. They exist? Then I would flood the market. Oh, dude, I, I could find you one. I mean, I could give you a sponsor <laughs> plug right now. Just do it. What is it? Check out, check out BigBadToyStore.com for your overpriced, oh my god, how much does this cost? Oh my god, you, you mentioned that silver. Oh, here we go. You mentioned that silver. Here we it go. This reminds me of uh, the current thing that's happening with Wizards of the Coast with, and Magic the Gathering. Uh, did, did you know that Watsi uh, right now has this partnership going on with Lord of the Rings? Ah, oh boy. And it's just trading cards. Like, um, they have booster packs of uh, Lord of the Rings trading cards. Wow, that is awesome. That Batman thing is awesome. <laughs> yes, but what is, it is. what's inside? No, uh, sorry, what you're talking about? I'm, talking, I'm looking at the Batman first. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Wow, that's... Yeah, it, but it's over $4,000. Yes, but I can see why. This is just awesome. Like, the lights and whatnot, I, I can understand why. God damn it, that's so good. And wait, does his but hand then, move? You know, his hand moved. Uh oh, I think I just sold Norman on a, on a statue. Norman, don't mortgage your place for this. No, I won't. Like, But I can understand why it's expensive. It's just big. God, all right, stop it. So, uh, yes, uh, we have the wow. wow, I've I've te I've added temptation into this. It was meant to prove a point, not sell Norman on <laughs> merchandise. I, you see, see, I am a appreciator of stuff. When I see something that is expensive, I want to know why, and that was understandably expensive. Yes. <clears throat> But yes, uh, for the Lord of Rings stuff, it's just basically cards. But uh, the one thing that they're doing right now is the one of one, one ring. Uh, basically, it's a card written in Elvish script, 
and there's only one copy of it in the world and there's already bounties of it reaching two million dollars it gets yep i wonder who's gonna ask somebody for that we got no idea because there's already people printing out proxies uh, making counterfeits of it and oh god and here's the thing what wizards did is kind of dumb. What they should have done is kind of a lotto ticket, like what um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory did with Willy Wonka with the golden tickets. They should have done that instead. Ta 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 ta. Yep. Much better plan, to be honest. So that way you can verify it. But nope, nope, nope. Anywho, carrying on. Nobody cares about what's the. <clears throat> They get the letter, or no, they get a reply back from Twilight, and they decide to, you know, let's go scout around, see if anybody's evil and whatnot. And they hear music, um, somebody singing stuff like, every day's the same, uh, it goes round and round, and so on. Like, wait, what's going on? And here where I question, if everything's the same, why didn't sunset realize this or notice this yeah that's what i was gonna ask because uh, the the special never really explains but for some reason starlight's the only one except for the main perpetrators who's outside who's aware of the loop happening mm-hmm. and it, it never explains why i mean it's the effect of being in the blast radius of the spell but at the same time too everybody was in the range of blast radius oh yeah that's also true Mm, maybe it's because sunset is from equestria and equestrian magic affects her differently true then how would you explain about you know what i'm gonna pause it there um so we discovered that oh no uh, there's somebody at the concert and they're singing. They're singing to their audience and hypnotizing them with this sick beat, yo. And it's the dazzling. <gasps> oh, they're singing. Oh no. That's bad. Unpause. You know what's even worse? Mm-hmm. They've been reduced to the opening band. Oh no. I think they're not in the same stage. I'm pretty sure there is that is the same stage. Is it? Uh, Hold on. I don't think so. But anyway, Silver, then how would you explain the dazzling not being affected? Hmm. How do you know they aren't? Ah, uh, man. Judging yes. by how they act and whatnot, probably they would have tried to gain more info and whatnot. Like, probably look at the lotto, what's the number, winning number of that day, and so on. Mm, it's true. I mean, but I'm I'm developing a headcanon of like ah they they did it didn't work because they're not ponies they're sirens and sirens don't have friendship so they're not immune because they're not friendly. Okay, or, I've I've come up with my baloney. Or the alternative headcanon is that they're not magical and that's why they don't uh, and that's why they are not affected. Yes, that's just what I was going to say. And, yes, but then you could also mention what about the rest of the main six who aren't? So there's always one. There's always a plot hole. You, you know what I mean? There's always a plot hole going on. <sighs> ah, well, in that case, I invoke the Ishizu argument because shut up. <laughs> I agree. So anywho. We see that the Dazzlings are on stage and they're singing. Oh no! Did how do how did they get their voice back? How are they singing? And Applejack here says like, oh, um, or they're using vocal processing. <laughs> they wouldn't, says Rainbow Dash. And Rainbow Dash says, wait, what am I talking about? Of course they would. They'll use auto tune on a uh, drop of a beat. Auto tune. Yeah, yeah. So we, we see that the Dazzlings are up on stage singing. And yeah, uh, this was a, this was a awesome surprise for any Dazzling fans because I know they're out there. They love the orange hair. They love the taco. 
uh, girl. They they love sarcastic, rude girl. Yep. Please, they they enjoy them. Yes. <coughs> Well, I mean, sarcastic girl. She was probably the least known. I do you know. She's the, <coughs> she's the most well known. Have you not seen Art of a Man? That one artist on the Twitters does good job. That one artist on Twitter. Yes, the the <laughs> only artist on Twitter. Oh my God, that one artist. You know, I I I don't remember names, but no. Uh, the Dazzlings is an awesome surprise, and uh, them being on stage singing is kind of yeah, kind of, kind of cool. So they go backstage after their performance, and the girls wants to find a way to well, at least Sunset and Pinkie Pie tries to go back and um, just check them out or just interrogate them or so whatnot. But before they can do that, they all get kicked out surprisingly. And with that, they do. Uh, they they do a do over and give the security guard a kitty cat because he was kicked out, or he was fired from a pet convention when he would try to bring home a kitten home. That's not good. <clears throat> so anywho, in the Dazzling's van, um. Uh, the Dazzlings head out to go grab something to eat. And Sunset goes in to find the Time Twister. Was it Silver? Time Turner? Time? Uh, time Twister. Time Twister. So the Time Twister thingy and Pinkie Pie is on watch. You can already tell something bad is going to happen. So. Well, you know, the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and expecting a different result. And technically it does. It's different results happen. <laughs> but anywho. It's just, you know, trust, trusting Pinkie Pie to keep watch when she can't even stay still for three seconds. That's also true. She has a moment. temptation. Yeah, that's also true. But anywho, the mm. Dazzlings, things... Um, I, I think, what, Adagio, Adagio us uh, did you guys remove the bread from the toaster and they all says i don't know i don't remember and they were they, they all go back to the van because they don't want that to burn and pinky pie gets distracted by churros mm. is churro again with the churros is churro that good that pinky pie is that adamant about it i will not know never well, try then I can't say I've had a lot of churros. As far as I know, it's just a lot of sugar. I, which, well, it's Pinkie Pie. Honestly, for me, on my end, I've tasted some and I enjoy it. But I, I really want to know how authentic churro is. Because um, being here in Malaysia, Asian do do the same thing as the authentic churros are Mexican, right? Yes. Yeah, Mexican dish. So yeah, I, I'm I'm really wondering about that. But anywho, uh, Sunset gets caught and Sunset confronts them and talking about the time loop and whatnot. And uh, Sunset asks, "Okay, where where's the goddamn thing? Um, I know you're doing this and uh, you're doing the time loop thing, and the uh, the Dazzlings are just like, wait, what? What are you talking about?" And Sunset just grabs Adagio's hand and looks into her mind. And she's telling the truth. And her powers singing again is just post-processing. It's just using auto-tunes and whatnot. Can you blame her? Oh, how dare. But, uh, I can d blame her. Look, the only time I ever really tolerate auto-tuning is Cher. Oh, yeah. The leave in Life After Love. I mean, Cher can sing, so doing that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Also, also, whenever someone mentions churros, all I can think of is, is a video I'm linking in the chat from Bobo Bo 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 Bo. <laughs> okay, T title already. That, mm, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to watch that later. But also at the same time too, uh, T-Pain. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, anywho, carrying on, um, 
the Deslings kind of says, Sunset, you know what we do? Uh, being stuck here, no way to get back home, losing our powers, losing our magic is kind of a nightmare. And you know what we did? Or you want to know what we do? We, we, we live our lives. It's called living. You should try that sometimes. And yeah, wow, sick burn from the Dazzlings on that one. And they were never seen again. Well, it's kind of funny as this day has been done over, even their sick burn is lost to time. This is also true. But this is one of those cases where awesome use of the girls, but they're just a drop of water in the ocean. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's a red herring. That's uh, that's something. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. <coughs> so they tried so hard and got so far. And mm-hmm. the end. Yeah. Also, um, Twilight blew up saying that how she hates Pinkie Pie and the churros, those goddamn churros. And hey, look, hey, Pinkie Pie, what are you doing here? Oh God, no. Conveniently so, standing uh, behind one of the dazzlings. Yep. Wait, was it the... Was it uh, Twilight or Sunset? Uh, Pinkie Pie and Sunset. My bad if I was saying stuff wrong. I think you were saying the Twilight. Twilight? I, I said Twilight. I meant Sunset. Yes. There we go. <laughs> so, um, Sunny here... It's kind of like, oh no, uh, sorry Pinky, I didn't really mean it, and uh, fudge, you know what, reset. So, day two, you know what, let's do a change of perspective. Instead of me doing what I want, let's try and do what Pinky wants. And let's just do it how she wants to do it, you know, like, let's have fun that way. So I think what the twentieth loop. So Twilight just sorry Sunset just hangs out, have fun with Pinky, and you know just do everything right. And I'm just gonna pause here because this happened in Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is one of those yep. awesome movies starring Bill Murray, where he just lives relives the same day. Over and over and over again. Where there's one time where he just put a toaster in the bathtub. Remember that scene, Silver? Yeah. I also remember standing, uh, stepping in front of a, either a train or a van, hold, flashing his hands, stop, stop, and he just can't, <laughs> can't die. No, he died. He died. He just. Resets. He can't stay dead. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He respawned. Isn't that a convenient, Silver? Well, I, I will be honest. The the fear of mortality certainly goes out the door if you just reset. Yeah, but you have to ponder. Like, let's just say Bill Murray in that show was, what, 40? And he'd been living in that loop for years and years at 100. Like, one person can go insane. Question, does he ever break the cycle? I'm asking this because I never really watched Groundhog Day except for the clips from it. He does at the end, uh, but I don't remember what was the cause of it. You remember, Silver? The cause of uh, Bill Murray's loop? Yeah, and... Yeah. Basically, oh, basically God. Ah. <laughs> the unit... The universe was giving him an opportunity to reflect, to recognize the value in in doing good for others, and to basically become a completely different person. He had to go through hell before he could become a better person. Hmm. Now, if you want, like, Live, Die, Repeat, or Edge of Tomorrow, or whatever you want for the Tom Cruise movie (laughs) with aliens and time looping... Well, it's the aliens have the natural ability to loop time, and he tapped into that. Oh. Aliens. But, but, uh, but Bill Murray's story—they n- never explained why 
simply that it kept happening. So it's an act of God. So you figure it, that's how I classify it. I can dig it. I can dig it. <clears throat> and in the end, when he learned his lesson and became an awesome guy, God says, "All right, you're you're good to go." <laughs> yep. You are released. You are absolved. Don't. Now you have to tackle each day unknown. Mm, oh wow, that's even more scary. So, oh, anywho, uh, where was I again? Yes, uh, sunset Something about aliens. No, <laughs> sunset and pinky. <laughs> uh, they, they have the time of their life. Uh, they, they. Do whatever I sorry, um whatever I said in the beginning, just do it but perfect. Um, they won the tandem bicycle. They went into the hedge maze. They took a photo at a photo booth. They get painted by paint. Uh, they they clean up and they have churros. We see the two couples. Ah, that's so cool. I forgot their names. But that's awesome. I'm not sure they've ever been fully named. I I remember the brown hair kid does have one because he was in the comics, I think. But I don't remember his name. Point Dexter was not his name. It was another. That was another guy. Oh, micro. Uh, mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. But anywho. Uh, but it turns, but out the, it turns out the churros are as hard as bricks. Yeah. That. To be honest, they they they're not like they're supposed to be soft and chewy. And crispy, but but these one are hard, hard as scroll bars. Yeah, I know. Foreshadowing. <laughs> so they they try to eat and they hear an argument saying that oh uh you know you 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 can uh, shove these churros up your ass because I quit becoming your delivery person. So the girls hear that and hey, you know what? Let's let's deliver these churros. Yay! This should be fun. So they deliver the churros to the their favorite band. Uh, what was it called again? Pop Crush. I'm uh, sorry, Post Crush. And uh, they present the churros and they say a few things that are like, wait, what? They say like, hey, uh, you're not the usual delivery guy. Uh, it looks like today's two girls. So it's like, oh, wait, what? Huh, it, it seems like things are strange. Could somebody roll yeah. a perception die, please? <laughs> yeah, it was basically at this point. Well, uh, with the dozens, uh, when it turned out, they they weren't involved, but they were an obvious, an obvious red herring. When they those two showed up, I suddenly remembered, hey, hang on, throughout this entire uh, special, we didn't see these two in person except on the stage and all of a sudden they realized oh yeah did we did we even see them on stage well sunset we did when sunset got her perfect day yeah that yeah 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 i remember that one no 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 no. so yeah and um red flags by sunset because she noticed inconsistencies with the way that they're talking and Sunset just says, Let me touch your hand. I big fan. <laughs> and does. And now Sunset is looking into the mind of uh, what you call this post crush and see that they're responsible for the time loop. Oh, every little bit happens. Every, every little blooper happens, happen and they reset it to make it as perfect as possible. Uh, Sunset sees that and confronts them, saying that, hey, we need you to return that artifact and whatnot. And Post Crush says, no, we, we, want this, uh, div- uh, we want to keep this device so we can have the perfect concert and whatnot. And somehow, uh, one of the Post Crush members is a drop out art student and draws the uh, Pinky and Sunset's face. Ooh, that's that's awfully cute and accurate. 
Never doubt the power of an art school dropout. I know. <laughs> Well, uh, there, there is some uh, good thing about this. And that is? I, I noticed she didn't have a German accent. Well, why would you think that? <laughs> An art dropout. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 stop, stop it. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I just want to reenact that scene from Downfall. Why did I drop out? I could have been the next Picasso. Oh god damn it. No. I'm go no, no, no. <laughs> Anywho. Uh with the uh, Yaka brought it up, it's fair game now. <laughs> no, no. Uh god dang it, no. Yes. <clears throat> yes. So anywho. I w we will drive Norman into a nervous conniption if it's the last thing we do. Uh, if I show from laughter first. <laughs> oh, God damn it. So, anywho, uh, with that, she remembers how they look and she can draw them anytime. And they get kicked out by the security guard. So, they, they ponder, like, how are we supposed to get in and whatnot. Ah, man, this is going to be our final mission because we can't get back in because of this. And Sunset just ponders, like, well, at least I'll be together with my best friend. And here is where I feel like, oh, they're shipping. And if this was a fanfic, they would be kissing already. All of the kissing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice sound effect, my friend. So uh, they, they lay down on the grass for a bit. And Pinkie Pie smells, hey, wait, what was that smell? Oh, churros, you still have it. And Sunset just says, I don't really like them because they're hard as crowbars. And crowbars, you say, oh, let's break into <laughs> the uh, doors. So before they manage to break in, the security guard says, yeah, I remember you guys. Uh, I remember you guys. You you respected my security line earlier today and says that you... <laughs> how, how, how am I going to say this? Because this is... Um, I, I think the, the what I can say is uh, you guy looks cool. Come on in. And with that, the security guard lets uh, Sunset and Pinky in, and they try to figure out a plan to <clears throat> get their thing, uh, or get their the, the, the time twister thing. And Sunset just mentions, hey, wait, I've managed to see them live, but if I... If we stop them, you won't, Pinky. And Pinky says, What? No! They, they trapped my best friend. And I'm not gonna let that down. So let's get them. <coughs> so they head towards, uh, Post Crush's, uh, backstage. And one of the girls says, Can this be our last performance? Because I am tired of this. And one of them just says, No, I, we will keep doing this until we get things perfect. And, well, before they she can finish her thought, uh, Sunset and Pinky barge in with their explosive churros and kind of have a showdown. Uh, they get the uh, device and let's say in all the scuffle, the device is crushed by Sunset's boot. And post crush is kind of like sobbing at the thought of uh, not perf not being able to do the most perfect show. But Sunset points out that look at your fans; they're they're really hyped for you to perform. It doesn't need to be perfect because um, in a live performance, they expect things to flub and. Uh, bloop, uh, and to have bloopers. And I'm gonna pause here. Silver, do you, do you agree with that? Well, yes. I mean, the whole point of a, of a live show is that it's not gonna be the same as a studio recorded where you could do multiple takes, edit things together. You know, it's human. And to air is human. 
Now, granted, you still have to put, give it your best shot. I mean, if you put forth a bad performance, you will get booed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to recall. There was a there was a band that did. Oh yeah, Ashley Simpson at the Orange Ball. Oh, but this was 15 years ago. She got booed. Oh, according because it was a bit of a lemon performance. Oh. Really? What? Yeah, it was. It went pretty bad. Wow! Well, what did she do that uh, warrant, warrant that kind of stuff? Well, I don't know if I can. We can play this, but apparently they'd been drinking the night before, ah, and they just didn't bring their best. Yeah, that, that no, no, that's a no, no. And uh, I, I remember scrolling down TikTok. No, not TikTok. Um, Instagram. And just looking at this one drummer who was performing, and somehow, uh, his, uh, the these things that's behind him is burning, and he's still playing the drums and whatnot, while calling for the stagehand to say that, hey, uh, this thing's burning. Could somebody put this out? But he's still playing. He's, he's still playing. He's still performing, and he's just not really panicking, but just being a real bro. Uh, doing his job, doing his, uh, just performing while pointing out that shit is burning behind him. <laughs> and things like that. Yeah, you, you don't do that. Uh, you, you don't do that when things are rehearsed. Like, nothing's perfect. Even the show, to be honest. Nope, but you, you give it your best shot now. Mm -hmm. I remember at the most recent Super Bowl, however, all the dancers were on these hovering platforms or hanging platforms, That's I should dangerous. say. And I, well, yeah, I thought to myself, I, you couldn't pay me enough to get up on those things and dance. One, I'm not a good dancer to begin with, but good God. Oh, that's scary. Uh, Jacob, what about you? Very. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Jacob, what about you, man? Well, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. I think the performers. I, 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 keep, I keep forgetting their names. Uh, That's also true. I, I We never hear their name. Do we, Silver? Kiwi Lollipop and Suzy. Oh, right. I, yeah. <laughs> the, I, think, I guess they mentioned them in the beginning where nobody really cares. Wow. Oh, Supernova Zap. That's also why this kind of flew under the radar for me compared to, say, uh, uh, Wallflower Blush. Mm. There's just not enough. You don't know these antagonists enough to really get behind them. Yeah, that's, that's true. Also, um, the Dazzlings, I, I do make fun of their names, but I, I do remember a bit. You got Adagio, you got Sonata, you get um, Aria. And... Their names are their names are song things, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, but a kiwi blush is she, is she from is she from New Zealand? Oh, kiwi lollipop, you mean? Okay, lo kiwi lollipop, right? I I, 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 Not I no idea. <clears throat> Maybe they came from Cantal no um Crystal Prep. That that side of town. <laughs> <laughs> it came from Crystal Prep. Oh no. <clears throat> so uh, Right. Oh, yep. Yeah. But uh well considering that uh Sunset had to spend like well at the end uh, we do get uh, confirmation that uh, she was uh, sorry. Sunset was stuck in the loop for about three weeks. 21 days yeah oh. so considering that she got to manage to have her perfect uh, perfect night but those two couldn't make it uh, like 21 times even though every single uh, every single thing that happened uh, didn't change so I don't know how they managed to fudge it like 20 times in a row Ah, oh, that's true. Even I mean, if it is a live show, yeah. I mean, there, there, sometimes there's certain things uh, are destined to happen, like predetermined things that are meant to happen happen, 
in in this case for uh what you call this what is their brand name again oh pop post crush they're they're meant to they're meant to flub they're they're meant to derp uh no matter how hard or is it again like example guitar string breaks uh drum somehow gets torn uh heel uh drumstick uh, gets broken guitar pick gets thrown off sneeze i mean is destined for them to quote unquote fail and they need something they need something to change their luck and it seems that uh, putting on the greatest show ever involves getting Pinkie Pie and Sunset Shimmer up on stage yay I guess <clears throat> and yeah they, they play the night and they also get what Pinkie Pie, some drums, and uh, Kiwi gives Twilight a guitar. Sorry, Sunset a guitar. And here's the question: How did she know? The conspiracy theories. <laughs> Uh, but anywho, they they perform, they have an awesome show, they take a selfie to commemorate the moment, and yay! Now for day two uh, of one. Let's see how that works. Yay! And with that, episode ends. So, uh, uh, final thoughts are in order. Silver. Well, I mean... How to put it, really the Dazzlings I think are the highlight because we know them, we cared about them, we want to know what they were up to. And this, let's see here. We've had Rainbow Dash for as the main companion for, uh, what, was, what was it, the, the Summertime Cruise. And before that, Rarity and Applejack for the uh, roller coaster of friendship and Twilight for... A legend of Everfree. So we, we're going down the list of Sunset or teaming up and being friends with individual members as a story. So that I feel more like this was checking Pinkie Pie off the list, but getting her on board required triple the efforts of any of the others. Oh, yeah. I, I agree with that. Like, she, it feels like. Sunset has to kind of uh, grind gears with Pinky a bit before uh, they melt because, like, uh, at at the at the very beginning, uh, the only glue that they are bonded is because of post crush, but you can see the what you call this friction going on from the very beginning, from the jelly beans to the maze and whatnot. And things don't seem to go her way until where she just go with the flow. <clears throat> so I just go with the flow. And I guess that's the answer. Don't look for perfection. Just look for your friends. Although, let's be honest, getting kicked out on the first day, not Okay. Yeah, true. Definitely glad they avoided that fate. Oh, yeah. But also at the same time, too, when, when you really look at events happening, Twilight, Sunset should have just go with the flow, uh, do whatever what Pinky wants, and just went to the show like normal. Like, they, they, they'll be performing. Uh, you don't need to rush up front, center stage, like nothing good ever happens. Yep. So, like I say, this one kind of went under the radar for me. It was there, it was fine, but not really, not what I consider the strongest entry in the Equestria Girls series. Uh, yeah, I agree with you there. Also, um, I did mention to you guys earlier that I thought this was the last one until we get a Christmas special, was it? Yep. All right. So, was that uh, is the Christmas special involving... Fluttershy? 
Uh, she has a pretty funny scene in a snowball fight, but nothing that's really... Nothing that counts as a full cameo. Really, her highlight is, like you say, one of the Choose Your Own Adventure minis in this, mm. in which she is part of a uh, Crusher fandom. <laughs> and you get to see her as a goth metal lady, and, well, she makes everything adorable. Yeah, and also cool. Mm. Yeah, so... No, no, no Fluttershy, uh, but that's... That Choose Your Own Adventure is a constellation. A small consolation, yes. Anyway, Jacob, what about you? Uh, it, it was entertaining altogether. Although, well, there were questions that I mentioned earlier, but uh, yeah, it, it was fine. Although it was only now that they noticed that there was, there were specific focuses on the previous uh, uh, specials where the under one or two uh <clears throat> characters involved with sunset but so yeah i get now i especially get now why you are so bitter about the uh, word fluttershy not getting one hmm. bitter my anger it flows and is delicious <laughs> oh no <laughs> anyway as for me i like this Sure, uh, like this episode, it was fun. I enjoy the moment by moment things, but Pinkie Pie can be very grading. Like, it takes a special patience with Pinkie. Like, how do I put this? If you're not, if you don't have the patience of a saint, uh, this episode kind of sucks because of Pinkie's shenanigans. So, yeah, I, I can see where people don't like this episode because of Pinky, because of her shenanigans, the way that she does stuff. Like, even Sunset here takes a lot of time before gradually accepting Pinky for who Pinky is. <clears throat> yeah, it takes a little while. Just like in Philly Vanilli, it... Too much of Pinkie Pie being the cause of misfortune, or at least the trigger, can really be a detriment. Yeah, like you mentioned before, uh, putting a character down so you can raise up another character. Usually that's Applejack's uh, foray, but for Pinkie, it's not really that hard to do. <clears throat> but anywho, that's, uh, I guess that's about it. So, uh, let's wrap things up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mjgmail.com. And you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. Uh, the show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is Norman Sanzo. Uh, where can, uh, Silver, where can the good people find you? Oh, lots of places. You can find me on DeviantArt, Twitter, and YouTube under MLP Silver Quill. You can also do a search for Weekday Puns or Silver Quill After the Fact, and you'll find two of my channels. One for the reviews and one for Weekday Puns. What is the Weekday Puns and, channel name? Uh, weekday Puns. Oh, that's about it? Okay. No, no, uh, silver, Weekday Puns, Silver Quill, something like that? Just Weekday Puns. Yeah, just Weekday Puns. <sighs> It's a big old W. <laughs> All righty then. And let's see here. You can, from my various social media pages, you can find my Patreon and Kofi where you can uh, support my videos, which I'd be very grateful. And I will see folks at uh, Everfree Northwest in on August 11th. Ooh. EFNW. That's, that's a fun convention I heard. This is your... Yes. How many times have you been there, Silver? Oh, I'd say seven. Wow. That's more than five, but less than ten. Indeed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Jacob, where can the good people find you? Uh, you can find me on the Deviant Tart under the user username Yaka von Torkar. 
where there's a Twitter username Tales of the Ashes. If you're interested in reading the story Tomorrow Rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net. And if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in a dual fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the talesoftheashes.com. Awesome, awesome. Go do so, guys. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and Master of Leg. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Cecil Vecquil. I'm Jakob. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! Adios! Bye-bye! So, I'm glad that we didn't flub our lines this time. We, we were perfect. I don't know. We per- had a lot of tongue twisters today. Plus, with the joy of editing, we don't have to relive 24 hours, just 5 seconds. Oh no, that, that, that didn't sound right. Let's do, let's do this from the very start. Let's, let's do this again. Oh dear, I'll, I'll order lunch. <laughs>